Hello everyone and Diane at Rosehaven Yarn Shop in Picton. We are Sunday. Uh, Yarn Hop is started officially since the 21st. So we are the 23rd. We're in the second um, day in. Uh, some people did show up already uh, started on Friday and yesterday I did uh, a portion of it. So I on the way to the yarn hop my aim was to have my Lake uh, Ontario lace shawl done it wasn't it was almost done I did finish it on the road so it I had it with me uh, but I blocked it last night and I uh, put the ceiling fan so it would dry up so it, it's all done I used uh, Leslie's colors to put it in I did put a picture earlier of the yarn that I chose. So we have uh, lilac and limestone over here. The purple is Clawson Road and the teal is uh, Leslie's Rosehaven Beastie. So pattern was fun. Um, yes, I did knit a storm in the sense that I did knit it in a week, but uh, well worth it. Uh, Pico Edge, lace, at the bottom they, this is called old lace the purple here is moss stitch um, in here it's like columns and then we have uh, yarn over so that becomes see-through over here we have a three stitch eyelet and then a five stitch eyelet and the top portion is socinet and introducing into the socinet uh, the second color so it is a fairly nice, light, big shawl. It's done with fingering. And the um, the needle were three point, yeah, 325. So yeah, very, very happy about the result. So if you wanna see it, it's gonna be, I'll leave it at the shop at Rosehaven. You'll be able to, to see it in the, the days coming. And then uh, I'm gonna bring it home because I love to wear a shawl. It's always, I love to have it on my shoulder. I'm the kind of person that when I'm in the car, the air conditioning of the car sort of bothers me. So I always have something on my shoulder and this is kind of perfect because it's, it's light. And I was not aggressive blocking it, but one of the trick is once you have it in water and you're taking um, much of the water out, use gravity in the sense that I'm holding the shawl and I'm shaking it towards the floor so this way it elongates because I didn't mind right because it's lace so you want it to open up and uh, be flowy and uh, yeah so very nice project this one is done uh, I did tell you that yesterday I left and we went to Perth uh, for the unraveled store and over there lovely store very easy to to get in um she has a very open and uh, the staff was lovely they were very nice to to meet and chat and what i found over there she has and i don't i didn't take one of the cards but i always try to find things different so the thing that i found over there so this is handmade it's in wood um and yes it is like a key holder ring and what it is it opens up where it can unscrew this and you can keep your needle in there so yes yeah, so this will become uh my day-to-day -day into my car keys because i always have my car keys and yeah usually i do have a darning needle into my wallet but hey might as well have more uh places to have yeah darning needle so yeah so this was my find of the day at that store and um, no i don't need more doodads but coco knit makes a little box and in there you have a variety of silver and gold doodads so they're flat and they're so they're very thin and sometimes Sometimes you do want a big do that and it doesn't bother you, but sometimes when you're doing lace work and they are, I'm trying to 
so this one is like copper color and again it's it's super small so they have small one round and bigger round and then those the one that we love that open up as a safety pins and it's all in there so that's 54 markers in there that were there so that was my first stop in Perth um, lovely people so if you guys are watching uh, I'm going to say hi to you guys the second place I went was Smith Falls and Smith Falls it's called yarn a plenty lovely store it's big she has a lot of uh, of yarn she has a lot of uh, notions um, very helpful uh, there was a lot of people when I went there it was lovely to visit that store and over there I got from nature wonder it's handcrafted uh, Canadian wood product and this one was made with single ash so it is a wooden lamb so it's a shawl pin so if I'm just going to put this guy quickly on so the way that it works is you are going to push through and grab yeah and she had like I did take a, a sheep but there was llama there was blue jays there was uh hmm I don't remember but there was like next to the cache there's a big wall like she has a big big round shawl and uh yeah so it was up there and I got those there uh, it's always hard to go and visit other store because you do want to get something as a souvenir and at the same time it's hard to to find something either that you don't have because uh yeah I, I love to get little gadget and stuff like that so anyway this this was at yarn plenty and while i was there she was we were talking about the the yarn hop and one good tip if you guys i uh, wanted to do it check the time of the stores because i almost got cut because i did leave uh smith falls around three ish like i'm gonna say 3 30 ish and in my head you know the store in brogville was open until five but no they were open until four but gladly uh i phoned and they just said no we're gonna stay open we know you're coming from smith falls so thank you uh you guys in at sassy yarn in brockville because it was a, a, a nice store to go visit and at the same time i would have got my nose at the door if i wouldn't have phoned uh prior ahead of time uh, so what did i find at sassy in brockville she does have a line of uh, it's called Emma Ball and it comes from England. So it's other stuff than, uh, you know, yarn and needle. So this is a thousand piece puzzle. And in that line, uh, so these are little pockets of, you know, you can put anything and everything. And as you guys know, I'm in love with gnomes. So I got that over there and she has like i said that line of emma ball uh, she's got bags she's got uh, pencil cases and after that she does have a lot of yarn and um i found because i'm inclined in the fall when i come back to do so there's the elton that is a cardigan and there's the El Elton that is a sweater that uh, um, Madame Locatelli uh, did after. So she did the sweater pattern in 2023 after she did the Elton. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure yet, but I think that this yarn will be uh, for the sweater. But uh, yeah, so it's a yarn by... Um, art yarn and it's merino cloud so it's extra fine merino with cashmere it's absolutely lovely uh, so it was a, a nice find uh, that i got into brockville so three are done uh and obviously i did rosehaven and there's beautiful stuff to get here 
Uh, Leslie's always showcasing her yarn because she's having more and more. She even created a brand new color this week. Um, so go on to the Facebook page, you'll see the brand new color. It, it is like Leslie um, showed it to me and she's like, oh, it's so you and she was right. It, it's a color that uh, I will knit. And that's the other thing when I was thinking about the Elton that maybe it's going to be the new yarn she has. So and the, it, it's going to be to follow to decide which color I'll be uh, making the Elton sweater. Uh, classes wise, because we're talking about it, classes will be off totally for August, a little bit of holiday for me. Um, and coming back into September, just check the website uh, and we will keep you guys on to date for those uh, for those days re returning. But yeah, uh, August is going to be off uh, new class just for a little bit. And um, what else I wanted to talk to you about? Oh yeah, one of the things this morning uh, when I had the student, let me just reach it over here. I was... Um, um, we were talking about goodies and things that you find and because I always like when I go to yarn shop to what do I don't have right so it's it's always because I have as you know many things and as probably you do too so it's kind of finding something different um, so one thing at one point that I found was these type of darning needles so it has an opening uh, so instead of, you know, trying to go through the the eye of the needle, I'm just trying to get a little piece of... So the only thing you need to do is sort of snap down because there's an opening. It's a wonderful idea, but for me, it was totally a waste of money. That little, little clamp over there just stays in the air, grabs everything, and uh, yeah... So I, I think that that's a dud. Uh, this is not, it's a good idea, but no, it does not do what it's supposed to do because uh, it catches everywhere and doesn't work. Last thing uh, before I stop is going to talk to you about the sea glass. So um, yeah, I've got one student uh, starting it maybe a second one and yes mine has not grown more since I saw you guys last week uh, in the sense that uh, the bucket came back when I talk about the bucket is when I made my stat my uh, gauge swatch is colors that I wanted to marry together to create my sweater and as I was knitting it and if I liked it I put it in the bucket so you'll see that in my bucket there's no like mauve and it's just the color that I chose on that day to put in there and so that what that's what it looks like so you do get a bucket and as you're creating your swatch you're just throwing it in there and if you have fingerings no worries because you just have to double it up and if you have because I even had some uh, leftover mohair and oh he's in the corner right here so I did have leftover of mohair so the only thing I did is I doubled it up and so he is in the second row of uh so at the end of the day what i'm trying to aim at is go through your stash and dk is the yarn of choice to find and if you have fingering no worries because it's going to be doubled up the aim is to be able to use the most of your leftover and to choose because it's this this sweater that's called the sea glass sweater and um yeah to choose a main color that you'll be getting for me i chose the red uh when i did the zig sweater i did have some leftover so the red is going to be the color for uh my collar and the cuff and at the bottom and then this is going to be into this palette that the creation of this uh, sweater will come along. So on that note, I will see you next week. 
for the video i'll be at the store saturday and sunday so yeah come and drop in if uh don't forget that next saturday is going to be our fifth saturday of the month which means that if you did purchase a bag at rose haven um you'll get a special code if you want to order through line and it's going to give you 20 percent of all your purchase and if you are coming to the store you have your bag whatever fits in the bag you'll have 20 percent off if you haven't purchased your bag you can purchase it on that day and uh enjoy the 20 percent uh, that the bag will provide you because it's going to be the fifth saturday of the month and at the same time that's going to be the last day to bring back your passport of your yarn hop uh, that you've done so for me i still have coburg amherst island and kingston to go see so three more places uh which i'll do uh before the 29th for sure and uh go visit them and next week i'll let you know uh how it went so on that note wish you a very happy sunday and i'll see you back next week Bye bye